Hello viewers and welcome back to Captive Minecraft 3 and can you hear me smiling? <laughs> can you? Uh, I have been trying to do a few things off camera and I found a couple chests. They were buried. Let's see what we got. All right, good, more food. I tried fishing, I tried my hand at fishing. I wasn't that great at it. It's kind of boring. Ooh. Erpshirian. More wheat. This is good. This is good. Um. But while I was wandering around doing some stuff, stuff and things, some wonderful things happened to me. The wonderful things. The wonderful thing. Oh gosh, I'll just, I'll play the clip. There's no my audio, but it happened. I wasn't able to turn on my mic or do any kind of proper recording. And I just had to capture it on film because I couldn't, I couldn't not take advantage of the opportunity. So I'm gonna play that for you uh, and get this stuff put away. And then we're gonna complete this and then I'll talk about this. Was that not just fate? I don't know. Fate? That's not the right word, is it? It was amazing. Oh, wait, I forgot to put away the stuff. <laughs> there, I actually put my stuff away. Oh, was that not just amazing? Was that not just a crazy lucky chance? Okay, we got purple here. And where did I put my blocks? Here we go, purple. Bum, bum. Oh, this one's gonna be a little tricky. I need, I need a secondary block. Yeah, that's from the jerk in Obsidian. You just saw that though. Okay, come on. Let's get this completed. Boom. Ooh, ooh. Was that? supposed to happen I feel like it might have been supposed to happen okay well let's go check up here real quick make sure yeah I don't see anything up here it didn't destroy this so this as you know is my uh, zombie killer thing mob mob farm it's a drop trap and i was talking about how i can only have it go so far down you've seen my previous episodes i had it down the center about this level maybe in between these two levels and i thought well duh i could just move it over and i did and i'm so glad that whatever built here didn't destroy nothing this is weird though can i where is this going? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's some hooba juba going on down there. And I, I would love to check it out, but not yet. Not like this. Um, I'm not sure what that is or where it goes. And I don't want to lose any stuff. So let's use this as a temporary dump chest. I found this in the, I guess you call it the water maze area. This, I didn't explain this, I suppose, but you can place a boat on this tile. As long as there's water all around, you can place it. That's been the issue that I, I have had and I've seen other people have. And because of this, because it tries to go under there, it just breaks right away. Might even be able to make this one block smaller. Okay, this is exciting. Let's explore this. Ooh, it's uh, entrance to the nether. Achievement get, we need to go deeper. Ooh, is that void? No, that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, and it's all underwater. It is all underwater. Yes, okay, cool. Spiders everywhere. 
that is a place where something appears. Now it can't be a checkpoint. I guess it could be. Oh, hello. It could be a checkpoint for once you're in the nether, but those can't teleport to, oh, ow. Those can't teleport to the overworld. The nether doesn't work that way. There's the spawner. It's within the world border, so I can disable it. Uh, those kind of spawners are affected by light. I should not go down here right now. No, I shouldn't do this. Well, I only have 12 levels. Oh gosh, they're everywhere. Let's just get a quick breath. Let's see what we can see. We might find air pockets down here. I don't know. But honestly, 12 levels, it's not that much. I could regain that somehow. Here's an air pocket, perhaps? Yes. And a zombie. And a zombie spawner. Very good. And we go deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Oh gosh, I hope that's not... There's a chest, a guardian spawner. It is. I hate guardians. And we're drowning. And there's another chest. And I'm dead. <laughs> Yay, I increased the world border again. This is excellent. I didn't think that I was ready to do that one. I guess... Ah, huh, I guess so. Now, we just need to encounter a ghast in a blaze. But before we try to do any more, I think there was... A few more things. Yeah, we have a monument, a couple more monuments we can complete. Okay, so we got a couple new things, a couple exciting things to do. The first is to complete a couple of the monuments. Now, you know I tried to complete the red, and I actually put it on the pink, like a derp. So here's the red. Hooray! So the first thing we want to do is go see what that did turn to spawn. <gasps> yes! 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 Mooshrooms! Okay, so the first thing we need to... Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Guys. Oh, gosh. Okay, the first thing we need to do is take these leads back. I don't think the chickens can get out. As a matter of fact, let's take this nether fence. Oh gosh, can I get it? I can get it like this, can I? What am I doing? Perfect. Okay, you chicken stay there. Where is, yeah, I got this stupid zombie noise. Here we go. Okay, apparently I only have two leads. Oh no. There we go. I thought there was one more. Let me verify. I don't wanna lose a lead. It's possible I did just leash up two. Haha, I did. I want all three. All right, let's get, where are you? Oh gosh, come back here. Guy. <laughs> come here. Yeah, good, perfect. Can I just add it? No, I can't. You, you, go. All right, perfect. Now, I have a little bit of wheat in one of these, my food chest. I believe this is, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's over here. This is a chest for things that I will probably most likely need later, but don't need right now. But now I need it right now. So I only want to feed two. That'll make the baby. And actually, I think I want to just make it so they can't climb up. Which means I need at least a single ladder. I got so much wood from those boats. Okay, this is great. This is super awesome because this is gonna mean that I can very soon uh, get leather. 
Matter of fact, let's... Yes! Cow tipper! And that means I should lead you up as well. Which means, of course, these are all gonna pop. Hey, stay over here. Okay, you guys are fine. That also means we have free food. Free food. It's gonna cost wood. But... I need more signs. I just don't want to use any of my wood to make signs. I feel like that's a waste of materials. Okay. I now have infinite food. Oh, this is so awesome! And... I have milk. But I don't need that as much. Alright, so now that I am all discombobulated, this is gonna be my dump chest. Let's get rid of a few things. Okay, we still need to complete the orange. Let's put that in there. And while we're heading over there, I have a small confession. I told you when I started this series that I was kind of sad, like, Zisto's playing this, I want to watch it, I want to watch it, but I don't want to wreck anything. Well, I'm recording ahead of time for the most part. So, actually, I've been watching Zisto. I've been watching Zisto and Exumavoid, I believe. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. And it's been really fun to kind of see how they, oh perfect, how they decide to solve things. I was also watching Ovi from our server, Decidedly Vanilla. He used a bucket right in front of his face, just like that, to get fresh air. I, I had never thought of that. Yay! So it's just been, it's been really awesome to be able to watch and see them go through parts that I've already been through and all the different ways. Helpful clownfish. Looting three. Oh, perfect. I want to try this out right now. Let us go up to the zombie spawner. Oh, and I need to show you the inside chamber. I decorated it up pretty cool, I think. I like it. Yeah, it's been really fun to see how they solve things that, uh, areas that I went through. So here's our chamber. Uh, there's no spawnable blocks. I checked with F3. So it should be fairly dark in there. It still looks pretty bright. I don't think there's a torch in there. Maybe I should check? I probably shouldn't. No, there's no torch in there. Oh gosh. I'm being taken away by the water. Oh no! Alright, so I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. Not too long, but a little bit. And uh, we'll take a quick break. And I will join you right after, and we will see how helpful this clownfish really is. All right. Now I just AFK'd up there for five minutes. Something you might notice in other people's series is these guys got armor and everything and all sorts of stuff like that. If you press F3, uh, on the left here... There's a, there's a bunch of stuff. The very bottom says looking at, right above that says local difficulty, 1.36. I don't think that's very high. Basically, the longer you're in an area, uh, looks like we had maybe a couple die, the more dangerous it gets. Uh, I have not done anything like AFK overnight or AFK for a few hours. Uh, some other people's series they have, and that's why you start getting zombies with armor and such. We might do that, but... I'd like to kind of try to avoid something like that, at least for now. So this should give us a lot of drops. They should all be pretty low on life. You know, this helpful fish would be a lot more helpful if it was uh, sharpness one or something. <laughs> so what do we get? We got one iron ingot and 44 additional rotting flesh. Not fantastic. Not horrible, but obviously not fantastic. So we'll keep this guy down here. I have some sort of organization of these chests, but I, I couldn't tell you what it is at this point. Okay, there is another thing. There is another thing that I am super excited about. Also, 
By the way, I was trying to find a zombie that would be able to pick up my diamond, and none of these guys would. And I thought, well, maybe they made the spawner so you couldn't do that. But Zisto was able to do that to a, a spawner spawned zombie. So it is possible. The other thing I have is these. Let me read to you a few things. I went back to the Captive Minecraft 3 website, and the link is in the video description below, as always, always there. And a few things I wanted to go over with you all that I should have really, as a good uh, video engineer maker, should have gone over with you already. These blocks, for the purposes of this game, are called Atlantean Ore, and when you mine them, they drop what is called Prismarine Crystals. We also have these blocks, which I don't remember what they call them, but you'll notice when you break them, you also get an additional block. As soon as you, yeah, it gives you an ice shard and a prismarine brick. And the ice shard is a custom item. It's actually a snowball. If you put it together, you can make snow. Uh, you wouldn't want to do that unless we could somehow get a pumpkin. If we could get a pumpkin, then what we could do is make two snowballs, add the pumpkin, and we'd have a dude that went around and made these crystals. These ice shards, they've been set up so that when you throw them and they hit the guardians, it actually deals damage to them. Now, I don't know how much damage, I don't know how it compares to hitting them with a, a regular tool or not, but it does do damage. Uh, and then the other thing we have is the Atlantis power generator. And there's a custom sound that plays occasionally. Right now I don't hear it. You're supposed to power this up, charge it, with prismarine crystals, and I'm not sure how these work, and I'm kind of, I don't want to just toss a bunch in there. I'm assuming you'd toss it in there. Did that do anything? Ooh, okay. That's one. And I don't know if these effects are temporary. Let's throw two in there and see what happens. Do we lose them? Like, if I were to throw an entire stack in there, would I... Huh. Maybe that's not enough? So I don't know if I need to be cautious, if I need to be doing this one at a time. Are they getting used up? It looks like they are. It looks like they're disappearing. It looks like it's taking them. Okay, that we've we've charged up a little bit more. I'm assuming I should just be able to toss them all. I'm kind of scared too. Let's try. I hope that wasn't the wrong thing to do. They're not super easy to come by. Ooh, it's still doing stuff. Okay, looks like it's catching up from what I threw in there before. I think for now I will just do one at a time. Look at this. It's almost full. Oh, come on. Come on, you're so close. I think it I think it must add a score to something and it's slow. Oh, that's new. I've never been able to press tab on a single player game. Huh. Very cool. I like that I can do that. This is so close to being full. I think... I think I'm going to wander around and try to grab more shards, and we're going to try to find out if we can fill this up. And if we can, we're going to find out what happens. We're going to do it together. All right. I'm excited. I was excited about this. I wanted to just do it. And I said, no, I gotta wait till I can record. I gotta wait, oh, I didn't wanna wait, and I waited. And now, now look, look where we are. So close, I didn't think I'd fill it up that far. All right, okay, are you ready? I wasn't quite ready to be up there yet because I found a bunch of a bunch of items, starting with uh, respiration three and uh, two more respiration threes. So. My other respiration helmet, if you remember, is way up at the top on Lone Island. 
Yeah, so no good for me. I got a, I picked up a few bits of iron. We got some more clay. Enough to make, well, not quite 16. So enough to maybe do one thing. We got another red dye. I keep getting uh, food that I would love to actually use. Couple night vision, but I just, I can't right now. Water breathing, obviously very helpful. Uh, and a Respiration 3 and Aqua Infinity 1. Those are going to be really, really good as soon as we get to that anvil, which actually, honestly, by now I should be able to access. Yes, I can. So that's definitely something to do next episode, get all armored up, and then perhaps start to try to take on some of the craziness that is up there. And no, I don't need on this level. This level is the one with the teleport. We want to go to the generator. Oh, goodness. I'm excited. I don't know what's going to happen when we complete this. I was picking piece by piece from uh, underwater areas, which, of course, takes a while. That was before I found the Respiration 3. We're so close. I hear bones somewhere, though. Oh, man. Oh, man. But then I found a chest with a bunch in it. So I was excited. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Uh-huh. Ooh, it's growing. Ah! Ah! I restored power to Atlantis. So the world border is going to increase. Ooh. Trident of Atlantis. Take this. You've earned it. Smite 10. Luck of the Sea 10. Sharpness 10. Looting 4. Oh my gosh. What is this? And what I mean by what is this? I mean, what is this really? We're going to do a little F3H. Okay. That's gonna switch all the details. So now when we go over things, it's gonna tell us like durability, Minecraft iron pickaxe, mushroom stew, nether brick. Okay, this is nether brick. Nether brick is an item that cannot be placed. So that's good. So we can't accidentally right click and, and place it. If we drop it, it's just gonna float. If we, the reason, let me turn that off while I'm remembering. F3, H. The reason I wanted to check that is because when we're hitting things, when we're hitting things with this, what's going to happen? Is this item going to have durability? The answer is no. The item is not going to lose durability. We have... We've just won the game. We seriously have. We've just won the game. Zombies? Are you down here? No, you're not there. As long as we don't die, that's the key. And even if we die, as long as we uh, <laughs> regather this item. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, we're going to have such fun. We're going to be on such adventures. We're going to be amazing. Oh, are you excited? Trident of Atlantis. I'm excited. I want to hit something. I want to hit something with this. But I don't want to rush out into a dangerous area just to hit the, something with this. Does this have... It has looting. If we make our skeleton trap. Because we... we Okay, I say we won the game. But we by no means are safe. When you're in the middle of the water and there are those guardians everywhere and they're all tracking you with their laser vision um <laughs> yeah uh you can still die and pretty quick because you can get a lot tracking on you okay this dude i i know they're already gonna be weak but let's just pretend i want to do this let me peek in here too can't quite get into there oh i need to i need to get another achievement so that we can get into a few more chests Bam. Okay, that wasn't that impressive. But it's still cool! 
This has been B-Ran. I will see you next video. Have a great day.